uh, delighted as ever to be joined by former Galway United midfielder Ollie Neary. A really interesting game in store here at a sold out Eamon DC Park for John Caulfield's outfit to examine Dundalk early on here at Eamon DC Park. Hurley with a left footed dink towards the back post. Header from Walsh yes. for the cross goal. The ball is in the back of the net. Stephen Walsh heads Galway United. Run to the goal at Eamon DC Park, Ollie. Yeah, look, a fantastic ball in. I was just watching on the way in. It seemed to be a small little bit of a, a, a block by one of the players for. Uh, the ball to go to the back post to Stephen Walsh, but look at it, great executed free kick and a fantastic finish. Stephen Walsh, 16th goal of the campaign, three in the FAI Cup, 13 in the SSE or Trissy League First Division. Yeah, there's a couple of decisions there now in the last minute, Keane, that's uh, very dubious. Uh, um, I think the linesman is, is afraid to take responsibility and put the flag up and say that something happened, but uh, I think the referee was actually closer. Home crowd not happy, hard to say, see for definite in real time whether it was a penalty or not, but was he made the deck cross from Borden to yes. again, two out the goal of United, the United bench are on the pitch. Yeah, again, Sh another fabulous ball came in, um, to Borden was it, to, to put it to the back post in McCarthy, but again a great header again, but you'd be, you'd be disappointed with your keeper there, Keen. I thought he was a very slow motion, the header into the uh, near post or back post small little margins he had to put into and, he, and went out for a corner kick corner kick to be taken by David Hurley Hurley with a left footed delivery towards the back post Shepherd just about gets it away yes. only as far as Morris Nugent who comes Galway United three to the good Ollie yeah look at again very very poor defender from the Dundalk you know you, you had to ask questions well there, there seems to be every throw in or every set piece that comes into the box they seem to be second best all the time and you know Nugent's on his own back post, thanks a, thanks a million. A little tap into empty net. Nobody marking him and tapped it home for put goal with three and a look. How superior Dundalk have been against Galway United throughout the decades, but they have to respond and they have to respond quickly here at Eamon DC Park. Wasim with a lovely swivel there to pick out. A Durvin, Durvin tries at oh, the course, well into the area, penalty, penalty shout goes yes. up, referee David Dorn awards the penalty, McCord with the foul on A Durvin, Durvin did well there, slipped the ball past McCord, wins the penalty Oli, and an opportunity for Galway United to go four ahead Oli. Five minutes before half time. David Dunn the referee, awarded the penalty, he's about to blow his whistle here, Dave Hurley, low and hard, and Dave Hurley! 22 goals for the season. The Dundalk net dances. Dave Hurley has been a key figure for Galway United in 2023, and he's ace Galway United four ahead, Ollie. Yeah, look at. I, I go back even to a few minutes ago. The ball was going out there over the far side, and Hoopen was on it, chasing down from the corner kick, and, and Stephen goes across and throws him down. You know they're not giving Dundalk any bit of the Terry Lambert in DC Park tonight to. to go and play you know they've got the goal up two up three up but the work rate has been absolutely phenomenal from Galway this evening it looks as if they're going to be playing in an FAI Cup semi-final this season for Galway United two players have contributed handsomely in 2023 as referee David Dunn blasts the full-time whistle a memorable evening Ali for Galway United Football Club yeah fantastic evening look at the, they've kept their form going with the, the league form this year um, all through the cup as well you know that's two huge scouts in, in the Premier Division between UCD and Dundalk as well but you can see shell players on there that are Dundalk players on there they're shell shocked you know with the way goal they played tonight um, they were fully focused on the job in hand everything they did you know in relation to the quality but you just hit the nail on the head there a few minutes ago you're on about Clark again who got to the final last year made a great save down there as well but the, the save from Daryl Horgan early in the game as well you know sick all the way up you know they get their chance they were one up two up three up four up but credit the coaching staff as well to go in now between Ali and Chris and John you know the, their set pieces have been this year I'd I, I, I'd love to know how many goals they've got from free kicks and corner kicks, but they've been fantastic all through. And the way they've come up with different um, permutations every week, week in, week out, um, to fool the opposition has been brilliant. But they've been on the money this evening. Great, great crowd here, and the performance has been top four. Well-deserved.